Tom. And Dusty? Meg. I'm glad you're here. Your support for Dusty may go a long way with the judge. What? There's something you should know. Meg's not here as my friend. I don't understand. You're not here for Craig. No, she's my wife now. What? Uh, Dusty and I were married a couple of days ago in Reno. After your divorce, you jumped into another marriage? Is that a problem? I wish you'd talk to me about it first. Well, what's there to talk about? You know why I did it. Show the court that I have a family to love and support my son. You realize Craig tried to do the same thing by marrying Carly. Carly didn't go through with it. Craig's got nothing to make himself look like a better parent. You do know that you're representing me, right? That your job is to take what happened and paint it in a different picture? And if I can't? Well, I'm not paying you to hear I can't. In fact, if you won't do what I tell you to do, I won't pay you at all. You're fired. Go. You just fired your lawyer? Are, are you purposely trying to lose this case? Oh, hello, you two. Just the lovely lady that we were looking for. Uh, are you busy? No, you got me between meetings. What can I do for you? Well, it's more like, what can we do for you? We'd like to talk to you about Oakdale now. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, Brad's been off the air for a few months now, and I think it's time he came back. Well, February what? sweeps are coming up, and what, what, what more perfect time for my big return? We could promo the hell out of it. Yeah, I, I, just We understand minute. why you did what you did. You had to take him off the air after Spencer's crazy accusations against him. And you know now those are all lies. Right, yeah. he never touched her. It no. was just a big setup from the beginning. Oh, believe me, I know, and I feel so responsible for that. I'm, I'm the one who hired him. Kim, no one blames you. And fortunately for you, I'm a very forgiving person, and I know the perfect way that you can make it up to me. Right, because Brad never did anything wrong. He didn't really deserve to lose his job. And I want it back. You know, Brad, I, I am so sorry to have to tell you this. Your job is no longer available. You can't fire your lawyer now? I think I just did. So you're giving up then? On the contrary, I'm taking your advice. I didn't tell you to ditch your lawyer. I told you to be yourself, to tell the judge how you feel. That you did, which is what I'm going to do. I mean, besides, who can sell Craig Montgomery better than myself? It's what I was born to do. Oh, God help us. Why are you here anyway? I thought you couldn't be bothered. I, I just didn't like the way we left things, I guess. I. I didn't want you thinking that I don't believe you can be a good father to Johnny. Hmm. You care what I think? I'm here to support you, okay? Silently, from the sidelines. I'm gonna get a cup of coffee before we start. Would you like one? No, I'm fine, thank you. Tom! Craig? Just want you to know that I have no hard feelings. I realize you're just doing your job. Well, that's big of you to say. I understand why you would side with Dusty. Other than the fact that he's my client? No, you went through something similar with Hal and Adam. Well, I don't see how that's relevant. You raised another man's son as your own, just as Dusty is trying to do. But then, considering how Adam turned out, I'm not sure he wouldn't have been better off with his biological father. I didn't expect to see you here. Me either. I suppose I feel like I owe Craig. I assume you're here to support Dusty? Well, it's a little bit more than that. What do you mean? Dusty and I are married now. I'm here to support my husband. Dusty, thank God I found you. What's wrong? I just thought that you should know. I, I think Paul might do something to disrupt the hearing today. Why do you say that? I just saw him and he was talking about teaching you a lesson. There's nothing he can do to me. Are you sure? Yeah, I thought you were smarter than this, Josie. What? Why do you keep hanging around Paul? He uses you to bother me. Dusty? I gotta go. Right, sure. Um, good luck. What did Josie want? Uh, she was just wishing us luck. Donovan, Jim Flynn, morning. If you two are ready to join us, we can uh, begin. I 
know that this has been a, a, a terrible blow, and I understand. I, I, I would be the first one to say that your chemistry with Katie has always been a huge draw. But the, what? Well, no, I, I, I want to know. You know, the thing is, having you on the air turns out to be more trouble than we can afford. Yeah, I've, I've had, you know, I've made a few mistakes. Few mistakes? You're kidding me. It's been much more than that, and you know that. And the station can no longer risk being responsible for you. You know what? I don't need this. You know, uh, Katie and I are, you know, we're trying to start a family, have a baby. I need to stay positive, keep my priorities straight, and this isn't helping. All right? Wait, wait, hold on, Brad! Sorry, I'm sorry. You know, we should have talked about this a long time ago, I suppose. Well, and I just think we assumed that Brad's job would always be here. Is he serious? Are you really thinking about having a baby? Well, don't schedule my maternity leave just yet. We're just, you know, in the beginning stages. Ah, really? Why do you say it like that? Well, you know, I've got an idea that might just turn this whole situation around. Mr. Montgomery, you are without counsel? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I released my attorney this morning. Very well. Well, you all know why we're here. It's because Mr. Montgomery is challenging the custodial arrangement of the minor child, John Dustin Donovan. Mr. Montgomery, why have you uh, brought this motion? Your Honor, John, or Johnny as we call him, is my biological son. His mother, Jennifer, was Mr. Donovan's late wife. At the time of her death, due to circumstances beyond my control, I was unjustly imprisoned. Now, all the charges against me have since been dropped and I've been cleared of any wrongdoing. But because of my incarceration, I have missed a significant portion of my son's life. He was better off, Mr. Donovan. Custody was granted to Johnny's stepfather, Mr. Donovan. And I understand why the court made that decision. Upon my release, I was granted visitation rights. But another situation occurred, not of my doing, and Johnny was taken away from me again. It was taken from all of us. But he's back now. And since his mother is gone, and all my legal troubles are behind me, it is my sincere belief, as his remaining biological parent, that Johnny is better off in my care. Your Honor, the only reason I lost custody is because the legal system failed me. Because I was falsely imprisoned. All I'm asking of the court today is to correct that injustice. For the sake of my son. Paul, you shouldn't be here. They can't shut me out. No. Not now. No, Paul, don't do something that you're gonna regret. I'm not gonna regret this. Your Honor, Jennifer Donovan's dying request was that Dusty Donovan, her husband, adopt and raise her son as his own. She also made it clear at the same time that she did not want Mr. Montgomery involved in Johnny's life. And why was that? She felt his influence on the boy might prove to be destructive. So thus, my client is and should remain Johnny's legal parent and sole custodian. The only change we wish to make is to revoke Mr. Montgomery's visitation rights, given his history we think he might prove to be a flight risk with the boy. Your Honor. I am not a flight risk. Mr. Hughes, to deny the biological parent uh, visitation rights is extreme in any circumstance. What is it uh, that you propose that your client has to offer the child that Mr. Montgomery does not? My client can provide a stable home environment. How? Mr. Donovan is a single man with no family in the area. Not so, Your Honor. A few days ago, Mr. Donovan married Meg Snyder, who comes from a family with significant ties to this community. You're his wife? No, she's not. Come on, get out of here. They're trying to pull the wool over on all of you. Dusty and Meg are not legally married. 